clubfoot is actually one of those um uh disorders that uh you know there's there's a lot about it on the internet and there are uh, a lot of uh there's a lot of social media presence um uh from parents and uh you know groups or the club for the media and what i have found is that parents sometimes go read these things and you know they get really concerned of you know what's going to happen to them and 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 you know and as you can imagine um with these social media platforms uh you know the people who are there you know the parents um are typically uh, you know the ones who haven't had a good experience uh, with the initial treatment or have had difficulty um you know or have had like kids with warts deformities or of some sort that uh, have struggled with the treatment so Uh, although I mean I think it's it's always good to you know for the parents to increase their knowledge of the club for deformity I would I would suggest that they wouldn't get scared uh, about what they read online um, and uh, you know the, you know focus on their child and uh, their journey and um, um, as I said it's this is really important to you um, you know keep up with the appointments keep up with the casting um the other thing that is um uh, important is you know um if they see any form of relapse if they see the foot is turning in if the foot is getting tight uh those are never going to get better with uh, brace uh, with the continued bracing so if there is any relapse of the deformity that should be addressed um uh yeah i think in you know and i want them to actually uh, stay really involved with the care of their child and in communication uh, with the child physician and uh, i i i strongly believe that they would stick to these things and all kids are going to do great